Bye. Bye. See you in a bit. Bye. Hi guys. Um, I am heading off shopping today. Very excited. It's Bank Holiday Monday, Easter Monday. Oh, and it's very bright. Today is gonna be like, I suppose we're gonna call it the second episode in setting up my brother's brand new build house. And today we're gonna to head off to the range and I'm just gonna be buying everything for the kitchen. I thought the way that I'm gonna do it is actually to focus on one room at a time because otherwise I'm gonna end up buying stuff left, right and center and just getting all confused. So I thought each time I go out and do this, I, it's really hot in here, sorry. I need to put the air con on. So warm today, the weather has been so beautiful this weekend. The kitchen is one room that he's not particularly happy with, um, so I'm hoping just to make it look um, a lot nicer, try and blend the colors together a little bit. He is gonna get it um, redone, like whether he's gonna repaint some units or something. I'm not too sure what his plan's gonna be with the kitchen, but he's definitely gonna change it. But for now, obviously, it's gonna be as it is. So we need to set it up. It's things like plates, bowls, cutlery, like just everything. He has absolutely nothing. There's a few parcels behind me that he's had delivered to my house. So I'm gonna take them to his house as well. I think he's got like a kettle. Um, so he's got a few things already. So I'm gonna take them as well, pick up a load of stuff today, take you along with me and see what we can find at the range. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. Okay guys, I am back from the range. I picked up all of this stuff, like quite a lot of stuff. Um, so I'm basically just gonna go through it all now with you. I'll just show you some bits that I bought and then I'm gonna put it all away in the cupboards. Um, so I'm really excited. I just think it's gonna be so satisfying, like putting stuff in the cupboard when there's nothing in there. Like, I think it's gonna be very satisfying. Okay, so here are the plates and bowls I picked up. I went for this kind of like, grey stoneware set. I thought they were really nice and like, I guess in a way a little bit like manly. Um, and then I just mixed up a bit and picked up these bowls as well, just to kind of mix and match a bit of colour and textures. These are actually what George bought. So these are gonna match in quite nice with everything that I've got. Where were these from? These are from Don Elm. And also this was another thing that he bought, um, this Bosch kettle, which I'm gonna set up. Um, this is just filled with cleaning products. I mean like the biggest, <laughs> cleaning product haul ever. Um, all of the best bits, well, all the bits that I think are the best. Um, got some minky bits here. Um, got the blue toilet cleaner. Um, oh, I picked up um, a few of these hand washes as well. I just really liked the way that they looked. It's vanilla almond hand soap. Um, yeah, and then white wine vinegar spray, elbow grease window cleaner, glass cleaner, and then the other elbow grease degreaser there. Some floor wipes at the bottom, some flash down there. So yeah, this is basically just gonna go like under the sink. Oh, I also picked up this, which looked really nice. I just loved the bottle in it. This is called Amberwood and it's a diffuser, but the color of it is just beautiful. So that's gonna be a decor bit. Um, this is utensils, a whole box with utensils. These are what I'm gonna put for the tea, coffee and sugar. Um, some scissors here. This is gonna go under the sink as well. And this is a laundry powder basket. Um, I've got some wine glasses here. These look really nice. Actually, I love the shape of them. They're kind of like sort of a square shape. Some mugs here to go with those plates that are there. 
I think the mugs as well go quite well with like the blue color of the kitchen. And then here some glasses um, and then I've got some cutlery here and then we've got some decor pieces. I saw this and I just loved it and I think my brother is gonna love this. Um, his job, he works away and like travels with his job. So I thought this globe was really cool. Um, and then it's on this like brushed gold stand and I just thought this looked beautiful in the window. Um, it like turns around and it's really detailed. Like I just absolutely love it. Then we have this little plant here, uh, pestle and water down there. So I think I actually did quite well with everything that I picked up. I spent about 330 pounds but I feel like I've got quite a lot of stuff for that. Um, I haven't quite told him yet how much I spent today, so hopefully he's gonna think that that's a fair enough price. I mean, the range is good value anyway. Also, if you're new to my channel or new to these videos, I thought I'd just explain quickly. Um, this is my brother's house and he's bought a brand new, new build and I'm basically gonna be putting everything in it for him. So I'll be doing all the hauls in all the good places like the range and B&M and home bargains and basically set up his whole house and decorating it. And he's gonna help as well, but like he's still away at the minute, so I'm kind of just getting on with things. Um, and this kitchen is the first room that I really wanted to start on. And actually, if you can see like the wood on the kitchens, he's not happy with this. Um, so I think this wood is gonna be painted. So the kitchen will look a bit different because he's definitely, he's not happy with the way the kitchen looks. But I thought I would start with the kitchen to get it all decorated and then maybe he'll feel a bit better about it. So that is what I'm gonna do for the rest of this vlog. I'm gonna put all of these bits away and I'm gonna have a lot of fun doing it. I hope you enjoy. Here is all the rubbish. I also bought this from the range, which I thought I'd show you. I got two of these. They're just um, mirrors, but they're kind of got this like effect on them that looks like rope. And then they've got like a light wood effect around the edges. And I just thought they were both really, really nice. And I thought in the downstairs bathroom here, they would go so nicely with the tiles. So I'm not gonna do this now, but my plan is to actually have this mirror in here. And I just think it matches really nicely and then I've just popped the soap in there as well and then I'm going to put the same mirror upstairs as well and then to go with these mirrors I also picked up these toilet seats these are the Toronto oak toilet seats and it pretty much matches exactly with like the oak bit round the top of the mirror and the toilet seat so I thought it would be cool to change the toilet seats because the current toilet seats as you can see they're quite like um 
I don't know, they're just, they're, they're very boring and they're a little bit cheap. So I thought I'd pick up some of these and see if he likes them. But I think that would look really nice in there. I have done a full empty house tour of this house. So I'll leave that video linked in the description box if you haven't already watched it. So you can actually see all the rooms and like what I've got to work with. But yeah, I'm pretty much done with everything that I bought. I've put it all out and like I've put it away, but it feels still a little bit sparse in there. I think obviously it still needs loads more stuff. We still get appliances in there and things like toasters, microwave, all of that stuff I haven't actually got yet. I think I'm gonna wait for my brother to come back before I buy appliances, just so that he can actually choose those things for himself, because I think he would probably rather choose them. I don't think he's too worried about decor and stuff. So that will be in another video coming up, but let me show you so far what I've done in the kitchen. Okay, so as we come into the kitchen, I've set up this area here as like the tea coffee station. Um, there will be um, a fridge freezer here. So this will actually be like on the end, which I thought would look quite cool. And then up here, I've put mugs. I mean, I've only bought two so far, so it looks a little bit sparse in there, but I thought mugs in there, spare tea and coffee and stuff. And then this little station here, this is the kettle that he bought. I thought it was some kind of, you know, instant hot water kettle, but I honestly do not know what he's bought here. It's a kettle, but it's got like, I don't know, buttons and stuff going on here. Um, and then these are what I picked up in the range. So I've just got some tea, coffee, sugar jars. I just prefer the ones that don't say tea, coffee and sugar. And then in here, I have done all of the cutlery. Um, I've just put the scissors here, cutlery and everything here. And then I've put spare tea towels just to the side here. They kind of fit in there really nicely. So this drawer is now full. He still has a little space at the back here as well. And obviously he's gonna get more and more stuff like bigger knives and things when he gets back. But this is just the basics that I've picked up. The rest of these cupboards here and here are empty and um, so that'll be all good for like his food and also his pots and pans. He's quite particular, he loves cooking so he's quite particular about his pots and pans and baking stuff so I didn't buy any of that because I'm not particular with that and um, he probably not likes certain brands and whatever so I left that to him. And then these I'm so happy with because I picked these up a few times in the range and I kept putting them back so I wasn't sure sure but actually they are honestly a near on perfect match to the color of the kitchen cupboards and then they've got these sort of like oak pine effect handles and there's absolutely loads in here I mean you've, you've literally got something for everything here so I thought this was really cool and I like the fact that it's out on display because it does match in with the cupboards really nicely down here will either be a dishwasher or a washing machine oh <laughs> I've just been snacking on these. Okay, then over here, I just popped in this little chopping board here and I've kind of made this like a bit of a decor area. It just, it doesn't look quite right at the minute. We definitely need more stuff out, but I just thought this looked really nice just with the pestle and mortar on it. And then this matches it really nicely. That's that reed diffuser. So I'm really happy with this. I just think it's quite nice to have like a few things out on the side. So it looks a bit more homely. And then the windowsill area is what I love the most. I am just in love with this globe. I think he's gonna really like this. And it just adds a bit of like something interesting to the kitchen. So on that side of the windowsill, I've popped the globe. And then just down here, I did put the little potted plant, which I think looks really nice on there. And that matches really nicely in with the worktops. Just popped um, one of the soaps on there. And then this corner here, again, is maybe a little bit of a work in progress. I just love this vase so much, so I had to get it. It's like a really nice textured vase with these two handles. So I had to get it, even if he uses it somewhere else in the house. But for now, I've popped it on here, which I think it goes really nice with the worktops. And then the little sweetie jar here, which I think is really cool. Um, I feel like this area could actually do with like more of these jars, like different sizes and all different sweets in them, and then keep that as like a little bit of a sweet corner. Because there's not really much else that you would be able to do with that corner. So yeah, that's pretty much it at the moment. Um, so I feel like, you know, a lot of this stuff that I bought blends into nothing, even though I've spent all that money. I feel like the kitchen is starting to look a little bit cozy with these few bits of decor in it. Like, you know, it just needs the appliances in and things. Oh, we also, I didn't realize this, we can actually put a lampshade up there as well. So I definitely will have a look for that next time. So guys, I think that's all I'm gonna share with you for this video, definitely 
look out for the next video of doing stuff to my brother's house because I'll just be uploading these videos randomly in between my other videos. So I really hope you enjoy them. I hope you're all having a lovely day, whatever you're up to. Thank you so much for watching this video and hopefully I will see you in the next one. Bye.